it really breaks my heart and it saddens me when I see news like this. Like, this could be avoided. This could really, really be avoided. How can somebody spend 14 years in prison just awaiting trial? Like, it is not your sentence. He has not been sentenced to 14 years imprisonment. He's just there awaiting trial, awaiting when his case will be taken to court. Like, how? Like, how? How did this happen? Like, hey, God. This is just so... Is this not so funny? What if at the end of the day, he is acquitted of all, all charges and, pro and declared innocent? What would happen? And it's not as if it's going to be compensated. Like in the U.S., I know that if you if you if you are being sent to prison for a crime that you did not commit, you are going to get paid. There is a particular amount I read about it some time ago. There's a particular amount that they will pay you yearly, times the number of years that you spent. Like you will know that at least with all the sufferings I have suffered, I'm leaving prison with a lot of money. You get me. Like, I'm, at least, I'm, I am being compensated. But in Nigeria here, if you go to prison, you'll lot of prison, if you die in here, like, you, are, you don't suffer, you don't suffer be that. Nobody is going to compensate you. Nothing like that in our society here. We are not, we, are, we, have, we have not gotten to that stage and we are not organized to that extent. Nobody even cares about you to that extent that... You, if you go prison, you go prison be that too. You go go back home and continue living your life, and like just forget, forget your, you forget you are being cheated, forget it happened. You just like life continues. Everybody goes on with their own life. <laughs> anyway, before we go ahead with today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please, please, and please go and subscribe. If you're able to watch till this extent, till this minute. It means you enjoyed what you've been listening to. So why not just subscribe? The subscribe button is the red button down below. Please subscribe. Support us by giving this video a thumbs up. Most importantly, turn on the post notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post a new video. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. Two Catholic priests were stunned as they discovered a citizen in Oweri prison who has spent 14 years of his youthful years awaiting trial. The priest, Reverend Father Remigius, him and Reverend Father Jude Onuoha, were in the prison to, separate, to celebrate their priestly silver jubilee with the inmates. Speaking on behalf of the inmates, the provost of the inmates, Mr. Onyeka Mbareri, Disclose that he had spent 14 years awaiting trial in the prison. Mbairi also commended the clerics for remembering the inmates as they celebrate their priestly silver jubilee and pray to God to bless the priest. In his account, another inmate, Mr. Andrew Nkoegbuwa, maintained his innocence of the alleged crime for which he has remained in detention. He recalls that when Udlum stormed the prison in 2021, he did not want to complicate his matter by running away as others did. His words, and I quote, I am innocent of a crime for which I have been in detention. When the jail break, Took, when the jailbreak took place in 2021, rather than run away and complicate my matter, when I know that I am innocent, I ran and surrendered myself to the Archbishop Emeritus of Owere, Most Reverend Anthony J.V. Obina, Obina, who called officials of a prison to come and take me back to the center. While recalling that after the jailbreak, Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo, Governor Ope Uzodima, and the Minister of Interior, Mr. Rauf Aregbe Shola, visited the facility, assuring all the inmates that returned on their own that their matter would be pleasingly looked into. It is sad that since they made the promise, we have not heard from any of them again. I urge the priest to help make our plight known to the government. 
Unkwe Bua pleaded, welcoming the jubilatarian earlier. The Deputy Controller Welfare, Mrs. Ejuka Marvins, commended the Catholic priest for what she termed your thoughtfulness and forthrightness in coming to celebrate with the forgotten members of the society. Addressing the inmates, Reverend Ono has said, I am aware of the fact that most of you are here for the crimes you knew nothing about. Some are here for offenses they are guilty of. I urge you all to be prayerful and look up to God. For Father Ehim, as much as some of the inmates are either innocent or guilty, they are also human beings who are vulnerable and should not be treated as in frank humans because they made a mistake i just think it's time for nigeria to look into the justice system like the justice system in nigeria is just so rigged like it's a fraud the justice system just the other uh, like how many months ago the cjn of a whole nigeria he himself is corrupt like how the justice system that want to convict people and send people to prison send guilty people to prison. The justice system itself is corrupt. CJN, CJN, you know, committed a lot of atrocities, embezzled a lot of money, but, you know, they just had to cover it up and he resigned on the guise of saying that uh, he is resigning because of health issues. Health issues my heart. How can a justice system that have been rigged, justice system that is corrupt itself, you know, ch uh, send people to prison, people who are guilty, collecting bribe for cases, like how, 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 are, how is this going to even change? How, how is Nigeria going to move forward with corruption everywhere? There's no sector of the economy, no ministry that, that is not corrupt in Nigeria. Just ev it has affected every sector of the economy. You see innocent people sent to prison, people on trial for 14 years. What? Ha. Let me know what you think in the comment section because this is just so sad on and unheard of. P drop your comments in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I know you do. Most importantly, turn on the post notification. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.